In this video, I am going to show you the differences between um, the free version of Imbrilliance and Imbrilliance Essentials. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is launch Imbrilliance. And on this computer, I have the free version installed. So there's no serials, serial numbers associated with it. If I wanted to buy any of the Imbrilliance packages and upgrade this, then I would just enter the serial numbers here, say set, and then they would, um, those features would arrive. But right now it's going to run in express mode, which is the free version. So once I start it up, you will see that it, I have some features here. And the most important feature would be the fonts, working with BX fonts. And so what I can do is I can build all sorts of names and phrases and monograms. I just type my name, hit return. Um, I can even slant it and curve it a bit too, which is really great. When I'm done creating that, I can I can see, I don't want it to be kind of off just a little bit. So let's just undo um, my slanting. Um, I can apply um, different colors if I wanted to, to this design. Um, then when I'm done manipulating my text, then I can save my stitch file as any design format that I want and then stitch it out on my embroidery machine. The most important thing to notice is that if you go to file, you have no ability to merge in stitch files. You can merge in working files, which are additional BE files. That's sort of the working file format of Imbrilliance. But I can't bring in any kind of an embroidery design and integrate that with my word, my name, or my monogram. Now, one cool thing you can do with the free version of Imbrilliance is that you can install BX fonts. So the way that you do that is, let's just minimize this a little bit. And I have a BX font on my computer. So I am going to go look, it's on a flash drive here that I brought over. <clears throat> and I have the Super Buddies font. It's a BX font. So you can buy BX fonts and work with them in this free version of Brilliant. So all I have to do is click and drag and it says that the font has been installed. Now I can change this no, I don't like this. Now I can change this font to Super Buddies. So that's a BX font that was made to work with Imbrilliance. And so I can buy as many BX fonts as I want, build names, build monograms, build, build phrases, all of that, and then again, save those out as an embroidery design. But that's pretty much what you can do with the free version of Imbrilliance. Now we're going to take a look at Imbrilliance Essentials. So this is going to look very similar, but we're going to have some important key features that you don't get in the free version of Imbrilliance. Okay, now we're on a different computer here and we are looking at Imbrilliance with the Essentials mode installed. So I can certainly do the same thing that I did before. I can install BX fonts and I've got that same BX font installed here. So I can add my name, but what's cool about it um, and where I have more functionality is in integrating designs with this, this word and image. So for example, I may want to file merge stitch file and then bring in a sporty design to go with my sporty name. So let's find something kind of sporty. Well, this is a good one. So let's merge in one of the working file, I mean, one of the embroidery designs. Um, it doesn't matter what format because Imbrilliance really understands all of them. So I'm going to accept that that's large, um, the size is, but we'll see how that works. So I'll import it. 
and you can see that I have these as two different objects that I can work with together. So I can really take my time exploring how that name is going to relate to the design. Whoops. And I can manipulate individual letters if I want. So I'm going to take that design and move it. I can, might want to put it on a little bit of a curve so I can play with that curve just a smidge. It's distorting it a little bit. Um, anyway, now what is crucial too is if we look at the stitch out, we can preview the stitch out of our embroidery design, I mean this composition. Right now it's going to do all of this black, which is the name. It's going pretty slow. And then finally, it's going to get, let's move on down here. It's going to get to this pink, which is, you know, one of the bands of the star, and then the purple, the green, and then the placement for the applique, and then the blah, 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 blah. So let's say I want this name to be the same color as one of these elements in the star. So I'm going to accept that. Let's, let's get out of um, that preview area. I'm going to accept that, then I'm going to go to color, and then I'm going to change my color to one of the colors that's in my color palette. Um, let's just say this color, for example. Now, what would be helpful, since there's no overlaps here, it would be really helpful if we could stitch those at the same time. And all I have to do is just drag that between this color stop. So I'm going pink, this purple, continue the purple letters, and then continue on down with the rest of the designs. So now if we preview our stitch out, then we can see we're doing, we're starting with the pink, but when we get to the purple, we do the stripe, then we do the name. And so that just eliminates one of the color stops, one of the color changes. So I can save it out like that in the format that I need and stitch it out on my embroidery machine. So in Brilliance Essentials does quite a bit, um, but what I wanted to show you is kind of the, the biggest difference. And for me, the biggest difference is to be able to integrate designs with words so you can kind of plan the layout and then to be able to reorder your um, areas in the design so that you're stitching it out more efficiently.